Have you ever wondered what are some of the reasons you do not experience the abundant blessings of God? Welcome to another dose of medicine. Let's begin by acknowledging something we all know. God is a God of abundance. He is not a God who gives sparingly. He is a God who wants to bless us, to pour out blessings so great that we cannot contain them. In Ephesians 3 verse 20, it says, Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us. This is the nature of our God. He desires to bless us beyond our wildest imaginations. But despite this divine desire of God, so many of us find ourselves not walking in the fullness of those blessings. Why is that so? Why do we experience only a fraction of the abundant life God promises? The answer, I believe, lies in two key areas limited faith, and our availability to be used by God. Now, faith is the foundation upon which the abundant blessings of God are built. In Matthew 17 verse 20, Yeshua said, If you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, Move from here to there and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. Think about it for a moment. Yeshua said that even in the smallest amount of faith can move mountains. Yet, how often do we let doubt, fear or uncertainty keeps us from stepping out in faith. How often do we place limits on what God can do in our lives because we fail to trust him fully? Limited faith means putting God in a box, telling him, this is all I believe you can do for me. But God is limitless. He is not bound by the size of our faith. He is bound by his own power, which is greater than anything we can imagine. When we hold back our faith, we hold back God's ability to bless us. The second reason we may not experience the abundance of God's blessing is simply because we are not available for him to use. Isaiah 6 verse 8 says, Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? And who will go for us? And I said, Here am I. Send me. God is constantly looking for willing vessels. People who are available and open to his leading. Too often we get caught up in our own plans, our own ambitions, our own schedules, and we miss the opportunities God is giving us to be a blessing to others and to receive his blessings in return. God's abundance isn't just about material blessings. It's also about being in the center of his will, experiencing peace, joy, purpose, and fulfillment that come from walking in his ways. But we have to be available to God. We have to say, here I am, Lord. Use me. Let's listen 
to this interesting story so we can realize what the problem is. Second Kings 4 verse 1, it says, Now there, there cried a certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophets of Elisha, saying, Thy servant, my husband, is dead, and thou knowest thy servant did fear Jehovah. And the creditors come to take unto him my two sons to be bondmen. And Elijah said unto her, What shall I do for thee? Tell me, what hast thou in the house? And she said, Thine handmaid hath nothing, had not anything in thy house save a pot of oil. In other words, what this is saying, that I will use whatever you have. I will use whatever you have to take you out of the situation that you are in, so that you can see my blessing. I will use whatever you have. So whatever you have, he said, go and borrow. The vessels abroad of all thy neighbors, empty, even empty vessels, borrow not of you. And when thou art coming to come in, thou shalt shut the door upon thee and upon thy sons, and shalt pour out into all those vessels, and thou shalt set aside that which is full. So when, so she went from him, shut the door on her sons, borrowed the vessels, brought the vessels, and she began pouring out. Watch, watch, watch this verse. The moment I saw it, I could not unsee it anymore. He said, and it came to pass when the vessels were full, that she said unto her son, bring me yet a vessel. And he said unto her, there is not a vessel more, and the oil stayed. It stopped flowing. Why did the oil stop flowing? The oil did not stop flowing because she ran out of oil. I want to catch that. The oil stopped flowing because she ran out of vessels. Hallelujah. The oil stopped flowing because she ran out of vessels, not because the oil was not there still. And that's where we are going with this. You see, sometimes the reason we don't experience more from God is because we are limited. Because of our limitations, sometimes, sometimes we are limited in faith, sometimes we are limited in abilities, and we think we can't, and we think we stop. And so therefore, so many times God has more to pour out, but we have, we, have, we have no more to accept. Amen? And so understand that God's power is not in how many how much our limitation is. God's power is in who he is, which cannot run out. And so therefore, the oil did not stop running because there was no more oil. The oil stopped running because there was no more blessing. Anytime faith stops, that's when blessings stop. Anytime faith um, has, has, has come to an end, that is where you're going to stop seeing the power of God. But if you continue in faith, if you continue in power in, of the Holy One, if you continue to believe and trust Him, then there is no limit. It will never stop flowing. It's going to flow to you and to your husband and to your wife and to your children and to your job and going to flow to your grandchildren. And if you keep on having vessels who are faithful, the blessing of God will continue to flow from one person to the other and from me to you and you to me and amongst each other. We continue to have faith in God. Today is your testimony. Tomorrow is my testimony. God is pouring out in every single vessel that is available for him. Every vessel that is available, God is ready to pour out in. Oh, hallelujah. May we have our vessels ready. So, so my friends, the challenge today is simple. If we want to experience the fullness of God's blessings, we must increase our faith and make ourselves available for God to use. It's time to stop limiting God. It's time to stop telling ourselves that we don't deserve the abundance he has for us or that we're not capable of receiving his promises. God is asking us to trust him with bigger dreams, to believe that he can do more in us and through us than we can ever imagine. And at the same time, we need to say yes to God. We need to make ourselves available for His will, trusting that His plans for us are far greater than any plans we have for ourselves. 
when we begin to live with a greater faith and willingness to be used by God, we will see his abundance, his blessings overflow in every area of our lives. It's not because we deserve it, but because he is good and he desires to bless his children. Elek, the Hebrew word for I will go. Is the Lord calling you today? Do you believe that you can avail yourself to him so he can use you so others can know more about him? Say to the Lord today, Father, I will go. So today, let us choose to increase our faith and make ourselves available. Let us step into the abundant life God has promised. The blessings are already there, waiting for us to claim them. I invite you to say this prayer with me. Heavenly Father, I come before you today with a heart full of gratitude and surrender. Lord, I am available to you. Father, I offer my life, my time, my talents, and my very being to be used for your glory. I recognize that you are the creator of all things, the one who holds the world in your hands, and the one who has abundant blessings awaiting to be poured out on your children. Father, I ask that you pour out those blessings upon me today. You know the desires of my heart, the struggles I face, and the dreams you have placed within me. I trust that your plans for me are good and that you want to give me a life filled with peace, joy, and abundance. I pray, Father, that I will not limit you or my own potential through doubt or fear. Help me, Father, to trust in your infinite power and goodness, knowing that nothing is impossible for you. I lift up my children to you, Lord. Bless them with wisdom, protection, a deep knowledge of your love. Guide them in their journey, Lord, and may they grow to be strong, faithful individuals who walk in your ways. Protect them from harm and surround them with good influences and godly people. I also pray for my friends, family, and loved ones, my brothers and sisters in the Lord. I pray, Father, that you will bless them abundantly. Strengthen their faith, Lord. Comfort them in times of trouble and bring peace to their hearts. May they experience your presence in every area of their lives. Father, heal the brokenhearted. Provide for those who are in need and bring unity to us, your children. Lord, let your love be the foundation of our relationships. Father, I ask that you remove any barriers that prevent me from fully experiencing the abundance you have in store for me. 
help me not to hold back or to limit myself through self-doubt or fear. I am your vessel, Lord. Use me as you see fit. Lead me to places where you want me to go. And help me to recognize the opportunities you are placing before me to be a blessing to others. I thank you, Lord, for your unfailing love and your constant provision. I believe, God, that you will do immeasurably more than I could ask or imagine. I am available to you, Lord. Pour out your blessings and help me to walk in the fullness of all you have in store for me. In your name I pray and give thee thanks. Amen. Lord, I'm available to you. My will I give to you. I'll do what you say. Use me, Lord, to show someone the way and enable me to say my storage is empty and I am available to you oh lord i'm available to you my will i give to you i'll do what you say use me lord to show someone the way and enable me to say my storage is empty and I am available to you. Fill my cup, Lord. I lift it up, Lord. Come and quench this thirsting of my soul. Bread of heaven, feed me till I want no more. Fill my cup, fill it up and make me Fill my cup, fill it up, and make 